What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another math puzzle. In this one, the question is as follows. Place the natural numbers one through nine in the squares below, so all six equations are true. And when we say six equations, we mean one, two, three, and then we also have four, five, six. And by the way, notice that seven and eight have already been placed in the puzzle. The remaining boxes need to be found. Hit that pause button and see if you can figure it out. When you're ready, hit play and I'll give you the explanation. So right off the bat, we've got numbers one through nine. Again, every number is gonna be used only once. So we can say eight and seven are out. Okay, now let's figure out what we're going to place in these remaining equations. And you know, we've got a seven in here. Let's start with this equation, right? So we got something multiplying to 48. So some different options we could have here is we could have one here and six here, right? Six times eight gives us 48. We could also have four here and five here because then it'd be four times five plus seven, which is 12, four times 12 is 48. And last but not least, we could have three here and then we'd have a nine on the inside because nine plus seven is 16 times three is 48. Those are our only options. So right here, if I have six, four and three and I'm looking at this equation now, we wanna get negative four. Now I know if I'm gonna do eight minus something and remember multiplication is gonna come before subtraction, it's gonna be eight minus 12, right? So whatever I have here, it needs to multiply together with this box to give us 12. So if I do end up going with a six here, I'm gonna have a two. If I end up going with a four here, I'm gonna have a three. And a three here, I'm gonna have a four. Now, if I'm looking at this top equation, right? I have eight times something minus something equals 15. Obviously we can do eight times two, which is 16 minus one. Or we could do eight times three, which is 24 minus nine. And that's pretty much it. Eight times four is 32, that's too big, right? We can't subtract 17, because that's not an option. Now coming back to this column, we can see that if we're trying to get a negative number, right? Negative one. If I have nine plus anything, minusing seven is not gonna give me a negative, right? Because we're adding in these nice natural positive numbers. So we can't be nine. So I know if this is not nine, this is not three. And we figured out our first two boxes. This is two and this is one. Now since one and two are gone, we can get rid of this guy. And if this one is gone, that's paired with the six, so that's out as well. So since I know it's gotta be three or four or four or three, these two are effectively gone. And we'll figure out which goes where in a second. And now we can come back to this. If I know that this is one, one plus what minus seven gives me negative one. But that's gotta be a five because one plus five is six minus seven is negative one. Now, if I know I have five gone, I can say that this five is out. That was paired with the four. So check this out. Now I know that this is nine and this is three. And if I know that this is three, this cannot be three, this must be four. Now the last spot must fit, be filled with the last number, which is six. And there we have our puzzle. So let's verify eight times two is 16 minus one is 15. Four plus six in parentheses is 10 divided by five is two. Three times 16, right? Nine plus seven is 16 uh, times three is 48. That works. Going down, one plus five is six, minus seven is negative one. Two times six is 12, minus nine is three. Last but not least, eight minus the product of four and three, which is 12 is negative four. Boom, done. I hope you guys enjoyed this math puzzle. And if you did, please click that like button. If you wanna see more math puzzles on the regular, make sure to click subscribe. Thank you guys so much for joining. and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.